So here we are back at our little construction studio. And I want to give you an update on what you should be doing today. So we have started to add some cross pieces. And I guess I can show you this pretty clearly. This was a piece of tin foil that I used as a clamp to keep this one joint together while it was drying. So rather than using tape, I chose to use the tin foil just because it was uh, available. And it kind of molded nicely all around this little area here. Got glued in, but We'll get that off of there. I may even just leave that on. It's pretty tight. So the question is, is the joint, this was a broken joint, and it looks like it's fixed. So the tin foil is actually acting to reinforce the joint. It kind of glued, it kind of glued itself uh, to this whole joint here. It's actually pretty strong. I'm pulling on it. It's not coming apart. So we may have a new little bonus. If you want to reinforce your joints, that's one way you could do it. Another way is with the with the paper. You can see the yellow part? That's just paper that got glued on and I trimmed away the excess. So that's fine too, because that keeps your joints pretty strong. Now, as you can see, I started adding some cross pieces to this. This is gonna really make your structure rigid so it doesn't twist, because torsion is a big problem. If something twists, typically uh, what happens when weight gets applied to a structure, it will twist, and then these joints will shear, they will break. And as soon as one joint breaks, it's like a domino effect, the rest break, and then the whole structure fails. So by adding in some triangles, and we'll continue to do that in different areas, we're gonna make this structure pretty rigid. So it has more stability. All right, so for today, you, you can be focused on reinforcing joints. You can be focused on adding triangles. All right, and there's one more option for, for strengthening your structure. And this is called laminating, or we double up the thickness. So if I was to add another piece right here, now this, this particular member is twice as strong. So if I glue this like that, I'm essentially doubling the thickness of this paper beam and now it's, it's twice as strong. But I've just used another uh, two to three inches of material. So you, you have to figure out if you can even do that, if you have enough left over to laminate. Okay, so that's all for today. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing your progress.